morning everyone it's felisa it is a beautiful day in my neighborhood it is great it's january i cannot believe how fast january is like zipping in and zipping out i literally feel like i just rang in the new year and now february 1st is what a few days away this is like absolutely bananas i remember when my grandmother was still alive god rest her soul she used to always talk about how fast the years were going by and i would always look at her like she was crazy because like i'm thinking grandma the year is crawling and that's because as a kid you look forward to what what three three maybe things in the year your birthday summer vacation and christmas vacation and for sure it always seemed like christmas vacation and christmas itself took for flipping ever to get here so you know as a kid i always thought yeah grandma you don't really know what you're talking about but now as an adult i promise you the days don't seem like we get a full 24 hours we definitely don't seem like we get a full you know 30 or 31 days um except for february uh in a month it just i don't know it just seems like time is just really on this um fast moving pace so you know that is just a reminder to all of us to make the absolute best of each and every day to live it as though it is our last and to fulfill the promises that we make to ourselves and to others anyway today's vlog is inspired by a post of course that i saw in one of my groups and I it, it was just intriguing and so I wanted to come out and I wanted to get you guys thoughts about it so here we go I'm not gonna read the post verbatim first of all I'm driving this is a car chronicles kind of probably a dating chronicles too um, and it's also a podcast so I don't want to um, risk my life trying to find the original post so I will paraphrase the post was speaking about um, I don't want to know i don't know if he was the president but but a ghanaian official i'll just say it that way and he said that men who try and marry when they are poor should be arrested i don't know why that tickles me but it does um because what can you offer anyone but poverty and bring your children into poverty and essentially that's not a good look and you know of course people were like oh you know so you you know maybe you don't get married but should you be prevented from dating and you know what if you want companionship and everybody doesn't want to get married and blah 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 which are the typical responses i think and i am going on the record as saying i agree everyone does not want to be married everyone does not want to um you know have that long term long long life commitment and I get it. I completely get it. And if that is you, then this probably is not aimed at you. But I have always felt that if you are poor or in poverty or struggling, dating should not probably be top of your priority. It just shouldn't be. I think that there are other things that will probably be better suited to consume your time. And this is why. My philosophy is this. Nobody aspires to be born into poverty or being poor or to struggle no one has that on their top 10 this is what i want to do no child ever writes that on on their what i want to be when i grow up essay you know nobody ever says you know when i grow up i hope i struggle and i'm a single parent and i can't pay my bills and i have to be um, intermittently homeless and i can't do this that and the third i hope i can't finish my education nobody ever says that life happens to people absolutely sometimes the deck is seriously stacked against people before they even get here and i'm aware of that but what i think is instead of putting your efforts and energy into dating and you know soliciting someone or wooing them or pursuing them when you don't have your life in a, a situation that you are comfortable whatever comfort means to you I don't define that for anyone whatever comfort means to you you probably should not be dating and the reason that I say that is because dating inherently moves your focus inevitably if you get to the point where you're dating regularly semi-seriously seriously exclusively whatever your definition is because child is a moving target to figure out what dating means in 2020 but if you get to the point where you know you are you know in one of those buckets inevitably somebody will say something like hey i need my time i need my face time i know i'm like that i i'm not 
you know, necessarily clingy. I don't have to see you every day, but I do want my FaceTime. I want my cuddle time. I want my, my whatever. You need to give me something. I'm not going to be content with just, you know, seeing you once, you know, every other month or whatever it is. Like, that's absurd to me and we're dating. So, I think, you know, once you get into that mode of, babe, I need to see you or whatever, then the struggle ensues. You know, you have other things that you're focused on and rightfully so. You have other things that you need, you're trying to make happen in your life and rightfully so. And here's someone demanding your time. And so now it becomes kind of an ultimatum for some people, not all, where it's, well, if you can't spend any time with me, then we don't need to be together. So then because the relationship is important to you, you start to pursue that instead of pursuing what it is that you need in order to bring yourself into a level of comfort or sustainability or show just even where you don't have to struggle if your mama died. I mean, just, just seriously. That's why I say that. I think that sometimes relationships get in the way and cloud and confuse situations that should not be clouded or confused. And it's hard to rationalize or reason with someone when their feelings are now involved. And you can't ever determine when or how you are going to develop these feelings. You may start off very casually with someone. Next thing you know, your whole emotional self is taken over. And that's, you know, that should be expected like that's fine and that's okay if that happens however you have to be aware that that's something that could happen and if it does what are you prepared to do how are you prepared to navigate that and to bring someone else into your you know situation where you're already struggling already intentions are high. I don't know about y'all but I know that the times that I have struggled the times where I haven't had much or anything it was stressful and you know and I had kids at that time you know, children coming out of a divorce, that was absolutely stressful. Trying to figure out how I was going to feed my children, trying to figure out how I was going to feed myself, trying to figure out, you know, where I was going to live, what I was going to do. That stress compi um, compounds any situation that you're in, especially your dating situations. Why would you want to inflict that on yourself? My personal b belief is, you know, do some group activities, find a good tribe that you can go out with. You know, y'all ain't got to spend a whole bunch of money. You know, y'all can kick it or whatever, go to the movies, matinees, whatever, so that you feel connected and, you know, you don't isolate yourself while you're on this grind. Finish your education, you know, start your career path, all those kinds of things. Put those, at least those um, inter those um, beginning blocks of development in place so that you have some foundation that you can build on and you're not inviting someone into complete chaos and they're now interjecting with their wants and their feelings and you know all those things onto you because that is stressful and it's especially stressful if the other person don't even know your situation so you've presented yourself as you know this put together person and they're thinking okay well we can do this and the third and you're counting every Every coin in your you know your piggy bank and every dollar in your account and you don't have it like that and you aren't too embarrassed to tell the person that you don't have it like that and then so now what yeah no I feel like you know to minimize all of that you just stay away from that for just a season not for a life but just a season just to get those things into place so that you can make dating meaningful or with a purpose if that's what you desire to do now if you're just trying to rape, waste somebody's daughter's time or waste somebody's son's time and you know you don't really care about none of that then this message is not for you i'm talking about people who really want meaningful comprehensive relationships whether it's a marriage or not and don't have their finances together like i feel like that added stress is not something that you want to do then you know you get to someone my age you know y'all know that I turned 50 last year I'm adding another year this year so I'll be 51 yeah I'm a side eye you if you're 51 and you're telling me that you know you don't have your financial things together not that you're all you know 100% because we're all learning and growing and we all have you know situations and things that come up but if you haven't learned financial acumen by the time you're 50 you know 55 whatever 45 I what have you been doing? Like literally, what have you been doing? That's what I'm talking about. When you when you 
just don't have the focus in your 20s and your 30s that's how you wind up in a crazy place in your 50s and your 60s not barring trauma you know sudden things that happen or you know whatever calamity etc etc you know like when 9 11 happened i literally lost all my investments and had to start over i get that and i'm not talking about that but i'm talking about just the basics of being able to care and feed for yourself at 50 and 60 and now you're trying to go out and solicit someone's daughter or someone's son i mean like how does that even work i just don't even understand how that works i really don't i really really don't you know at my age yes i'm looking for security not from you I'm looking for security in my life. And if you come into my life, I sincerely suggest that you not disrupt my peace and not disrupt my security. And now I got to be worried and concerned about you and paying your bills and whether things are going to be shut off or cut off or whatever. And yeah, no, I just elect not to do that. Not, not now. Mm -mm. Nope. You should have called me when I was like 19 and 20 and inclined to deal with that kind of foolishness. Anyway, I don't know. Y'all let me know your thoughts. If you are struggling, if you're in poverty, if you're poor, should you be dating or should your focus be elsewhere? Y'all let me know in the comments and I will talk to y'all later on. Bye.